You're a young man kind of growing up a bit on, on TV. Uh, what's that been like? Um, well, geez, I, it's, it's been an interesting experience because uh, I have to make sure that my look, you know, as I change, I, I can get the right roles. Or I feel like I'm in an awkward place right now in my early 20s. It's like I can't quite play high school. I can't play, quite play college. Like it's sort of an, an odd place. So I'm trying to work through that right now. <laughs> Yeah. Well, um, so I heard you expressing some ideas, perhaps, on how uh, your character Jonah would would continue. Um, there's. It seems that the way they've written Dexter is that you know he, he has a humanity in him. Wouldn't would you think in projecting that he he would continue to to have a relationship? I see it as a possibility because you know I obviously I don't know anything about what they're writing right now. But um, but it'd be tough to make that character, that whole plot, just kind of disappear because there's so many loose ends. Like I don't even know that my father's dead. I mean, there's all this stuff that kind of needs to play out. So depending on how they play that out, I think I think there are a lot of possibilities with my character. We'll see. Cool. Yeah. And um, could you tell us briefly uh, other stuff you have going on right now? Yeah, uh, I'm actually about to. I'm on another show called Secret Life of the American Teenager. It's a teen show on ABC Family and. Um, uh, I think that finale is coming up. I'm in that finale, and then I actually start filming the next season um, next week. So yeah, that'll hopefully keep me busy for a little while. Do you, if uh, they continue your character uh, in in Dexter, when would you know about that? Oh, geez. Um, I think they have to finish writing within the next few months and then get things started. So probably, you know, maybe like two months. I'd probably know if I was going to be in it, and then. Um, then work it out, work out the schedule from there. I actually filmed Dexter and Secret Life at the same time, so they are able to, to juggle it. It's difficult. It's interesting to go from set to set, like completely different sets, and like, okay, uh, am I killing? Uh, people are dying? No, no, no. People are, people are kissing each other in the hall, so that's right. Okay. <laughs> um, one, one last question. So uh, John Lithgow is... Uh, known for his, not only as an actor, but for his children's books and things like that. And this role, I mean, um, you being aware of his other work, uh, how did you uh, work it out in your mind to, to deal with a, a character as, as violent and dark as his? Oh, well, I, honestly, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> um, I mean, I would film with him sometimes, and he would be so creepy. And I know he's such a nice guy in real life. But while I'm there filming with him, he's so creepy that I just want to start laughing. Because it's almost comedic to me. So I'm like, how is this guy so freaking creepy right now when he's the nicest guy in the world? Oh, it was, it was great. It was great to work with him. Well, Brandon, thanks for talking to Elliot. Yeah, thank you very much.